This video is brought to you by Gemmer.com, a place where you can buy, sell, and trade collectibles of all kinds, uniquely for comic book fans and just lovers of pop culture in general. So go check it out, Gemmer.com, and hopefully we'll see you there. Hey guys, CJ here, and welcome to another all-new episode of Hybrid News Now. We've got a lot of big stories for you today, starting with some big breaking news out of DC Animation. Today, DC finally announced the long-rumored Justice League action, following the adventures of DC's greatest super team. And the big story within this news is that returning to voice Batman for the 25th consecutive year is Kevin Conroy, a journey he started in 1992 with Batman, the animated series. And perhaps even bigger for fans of the character, Mark Hamill was going to be returning as the Joker, despite his claims that he was retiring from the character. Also in the officially announced cast are Dietrich Bader as Booster Gold, James Woods as Lex Luthor, and dozens of other as-yet unannounced voice actors playing characters from Wonder Woman and The Flash to Blue Beetle and even John Constantine. Its format is going to be a little bit of a change of pace from the previous Justice League and other DC animated shows, featuring 11-minute episodes, kind of like what Cartoon Network has going on right now with Teen Titans Go. Unfortunately, as of now, there is no official release date for the show yet, but honestly, I'm definitely interested with all the star power behind it, and I'm going to be really interested to see what it can bring to the table. But on to our next story with some Marvel and Netflix news. Yesterday in an interview with Collider, Mike Coulter was asked a lot of questions about his upcoming solo Netflix series, Luke Cage, and let's slip an important detail about the fourth Marvel Netflix series, Iron Fist. The slip came as part of an interview with the whole cast of Jessica Jones, where they were being asked about season two and their expectations for it, along with their experiences from the critically acclaimed first season. During the course of the interview, Coulter was of course asked about his own show, which is expected to air potentially in November, as we reported earlier this week. In his last question, Coulter was asked if he was excited to do scenes as Luke Cage with Iron Fist, old heroes for hire buddies in the comics. And this is where Mike lets the cat out of the bag, so let's take a look at his quote. The actor has been cast, but he's in a basement somewhere. When the time is right, they'll let him up and tell him where he is. I am excited. I'll get a nice little break after doing Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. Whether I'm in his show, I don't know, but there's the Defenders. Sweet Christmas, the actor has been cast according to Coulter himself, but it's not publicly known yet. The other interesting thing to note is that Coulter seems to subtly deny the rumor that Iron Fist would appear first in his series by saying that they might work together in the Defenders. On the heels of this announcement, old rumors have cropped back up with many across the internet speculating that Ryan Philippe might be the person that Coulter is referring to. Interestingly enough though, those rumors were started back in April when Philippe himself confirmed on Howard Stern that he had an upcoming meeting with Marvel about a Netflix series and then name dropped Daredevil specifically. Though Philippe later denied on Twitter that he had been cast in anything, his actual quote was something like, and I'm paraphrasing here, there's nothing to report, it was just a meeting. But that's something that we'll be watching here with interest at the Hybrid Network until an official announcement is made. And on our last story of the day, a little fan servicey tidbit from DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Now, as we reported here at HNN a couple of weeks ago, due to Legends' time-traveling nature, we'd get a look at a future version of both Ollie Queen and Barry Allen. Well, we've got an official confirmation and then double confirmation from Amel himself about what that future Ollie Queen would look like, and, well, it's pretty damn perfect. Yes, Entertainment Weekly is reporting that Gone is the scruffy 5 o'clock shadow, and also the left arm and in is the classic goatee, in Dark Knight Returns fashion. The episode is set in the year 2046, so it would feature a roughly 60-year-old Oliver, but beyond that, it's also going to feature Connor Hawk. Hawk is known to some who read the comics as the second Green Arrow, but maybe more importantly as Oliver's son. In the New 52, as they kind of retconned Ollie back to be younger, Hawk has not yet appeared in that prime Earth. However, he did appear on Earth 2, where he was that universe's Red Arrow. And the only thing we're really waiting on for is the future version of Barry, but let me know what you think he might look like in the comments section below. So that wraps it up for another episode of HNN. Let me know what your favorite story was in the comment section below. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe for more news videos every weekday afternoon. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you on Monday.